Either put on these glasses or start eating that trash can. They can't stop us. We're on a mission from God. Me and the Lord have an understanding. Hello, dear friends. It's Poet WP here again. Here to share with you Another poem. This one is one I wrote when I was, oh, about 24 or thereabouts. <laughs> There's an interesting story behind this as well. Um, well, not really. I don't know how interesting it is, but what it was was I was in a mall, right? It was Christmas time, and I was sitting on a bench near the center of this mall, and also in this area was a a little booth set up where um, people could bring uh, their holiday gifts that they had purchased at the mall to get them um, gift wrapped. And I was sitting on that bench and I was waiting for my mom, actually. I had gone out with her on a day of shopping to help carry the bags and whatnot. And uh, I was waiting on that bench for my mother uh, to complete her shopping. So I could carry all the things out to the car. And um, while I was waiting, I felt the sudden inspiration, the sudden need to write poetry. And I had a pen, you see. Ironically, uh, the pen I had was a cross pen that was a expensive pen one of those pens you buy at uh you know like the local uh fancy pants sort of opulent vendor where they sell fancy pens you know it was like a really nice cross pen that i had found uh laying in the middle of the floor of the same mall i was at It was the nicest pen I'd ever owned. You know, I just found it laying there in the middle of the mall. There I was sitting in the mall waiting for my mother to complete the holiday shopping. And I didn't have anything to write on. I just had a pen, the same cross pen I found in that same mall. Consumerism. <laughs> Dawn of the dead, right? Every negative thing has a positive lesson for us all. I hate that the truth every goddamn time. So, didn't have paper, had a pen, had that cross pen I found in the same mall, probably six months earlier. And, uh, so I went over to this, uh, booth where they were wrapping holiday presents, you know, and I said, hey, uh, I need a piece of paper or something to write on. Do you have a, a scrap piece of paper that I can uh, write on, you can uh, spare? He said, yeah, sure, man, we got tons of trash paper. I said, cool, let me get a piece. I said, okay, there you go. So he handed me that piece of scrapped, that scrap piece of wrapping paper that they 
wrapping the holiday gifts with that, you know, they, they tore it off, you know, whatever, and, uh, you know, it was like a, a scrap piece, you know, that they didn't need to use. It was a disposable piece. And he handed me the piece, and it was about, I don't know, like six by five general, you know, six inches by five inches general, you know, size. Talking American type uh, measurement standards here because I'm an American. But, um, and I wrote a poem on this thing. This piece of wrapping paper. This, anyway, I am rambling, telling the story uh, endlessly. This poem is called The Scrapped Wrap. I met a person called the Universal Mind, and I danced my graces at its doorstep. I saw a broken mirror of me and buttoned my soul. I bestowed my life in the thought of the ideal and circumvented my reality. I kissed my mother on the cheek and begged for the true nature of things to bring her happiness. I mingled my eyes with all my dearies and momentarily understood the fluttering murmur of bliss they have concealed in the illusions of perception. They see me, but choose to look at what's inside of them. Redefine such level heads. 